Hello everyone, hello! We are back with more FF14. We are currently in uh, the Waking Sands here. We just unlocked uh, the ability to dye our outfits and to uh, glimmer, uh, which is very important. But we will discuss that later as we have a main story quest here with Tataru. Deep in the desert of my heart, a lonely flower blooms. Yearning for the heavens above to quench my thirst for you. Lo 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 I would thank you not to sneak up on me like that. Now please be advised that this is private property. Unless you have pertinent business here, then I must ask you to... Here at the behest of Ishtola. My sincerest apologies. May I have your name? Miro Prentice. Miro Prentice. Ah, here you are. I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands, headquarters of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. My name is Tataru, and I look forward to assisting you during your time with us. The antecedent is within the solar. I shall let her know to expect you. Vector, how do you feel about the Waking Sands? Hello, Valencia. Welcome. How do you feel about the Waking Sands? Also, guys, this is an interesting area. It is, uh... One of the few in FF14 that is not a dungeon, but uh, is instanced in that only you see this when you go in there. I'm not sure if you can be in a party and join the same one as someone else. I don't remember, but uh, there's, there's not a whole lot of people here. There's Arnvald. Hey, Arnvald, Ali, and Abatia. Why are you sitting like that? No thoughts, head empty. How can that be? Look at this person. I take it you are mere apprentice. The Taru sent word that you had arrived. Lady Minfilia has eagerly awaited your coming. This way, if you please. Alright, uh, let's just grab these. Let's so you are the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. That's unfortunate. Anyway. Well oh. met, friend. My name is Minfilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have awaited your coming. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. A forthcoming. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the primals. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea, nay, the world at large, and we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space, a mind without a body? All these things are the manifestations of your talent. 
Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul. A power known as the Echo. The Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. For another blessing, the Echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the Echo is a truly extraordinary power, and this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I, too, possess the Echo. With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. Naturally, your aid will not go unrewarded. We are fortunate to have a number of influential allies, and at a word from me, they will gladly afford you certain privilege that might otherwise be denied you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? They are individuals who may be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. The papers you requested, my lady. Thank you, Tataru. The pleasure is mine, my lady. By way of a welcoming gift, I have taken the liberty of adding your name to the retainer's registry. As of now, you are entitled to employ the services of a retainer. You will need to consult the retainer regu uh, voc regarding the particulars of this arrangement. We believe, uh, when, but believe me when I say that retainers will prove invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavors. Let this gesture serve as evidence of our commitment to do all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask that you aid us to the fullest extent of your talents. A mutually beneficial relationship, I'm sure you will agree. And one which serves the greater good besides. Well, that was a veritable, veritable lecture, was it not? <laughs> Forgive me, but it's important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now, you know our purpose and what we can offer you. I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to a decision, you may tell me without fear of censure. In good faith, I shall entrust you with our order's password, which our members use to reach one another when afield. It is Wild Rose. Pray, keep it safe. If you guys recall, Wild Rose is the uh, password the Rebels used in uh, Final Fantasy II. Retainers now available. Worry about that later. We have a few guys over here. We got Papalimo. While there are others who possess the Echo, none are near as strong as you with the power. Hence, our extremely high expectations of you. This place is called the Waking Sands, and it is our headquarters. It used to be somewhere else, you know, but then a bunch of things happened, and we ended up here instead. Seven waning moons see seven suns rise. Divine order royals. Fallen corpses rise. 
Thus, the Divine Chronicles seek to warn us once more. The meaning of these words now shines clear. They evoke the dire circumstances of this imperiled age. The realm doth shudder and twist, and the dawn lieth cowering neath the stifling blanket of night. And we abide. We await the coming of the unborn era's seed. The light which shall pierce the glowing darkness. Glowering darkness. Our organization, the Science of the Seventh Dawn, was formed through the union of two separate entities. The first was comprised of the Charlian natives, such as myself, and was called the Circle of Knowing. The second, made up of individuals that share your rare gift, was known as the Path of the Twelve. The terrible events they ushered in the Seventh Umbral Era taught us that only together may we stand against the evil that seeks to consume us. Summoning a primal is no small feat. It requires a tremendous concentration of ether, which is why the beast tribes go to such lengths to obtain crystals. Once they manifest in physical form, their unquenchable thirst for ether only grows stronger. They would drink the land dry with nary a thought to the consequences. Consider their fearsome strength, it would be well within their ability to do so. It is for this reason that we must do our utmost to oppose them. Alright. We scions have but one objective, to safeguard the future of Eorzea. Among our greatest concerns are the godlike beings known as the primals. Long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I know not what you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea, but I firmly believe the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Okay. Pray consider this when you give me your answer, Mira. I will go wither the wild rose endeavors. Or wild rose blooms. Minfilia is waiting to hear whether or not you will pledge your support to the signs of the seventh dawn. A oh, wild rose by any other name. I take it you will help us. Wonderful! I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelveswood. Hello there! Welcome! <gasps> okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. I have been expecting you. Last but not least is Orianger, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartineau, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. 
She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Orianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shanty town outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye, the evidence left behind implicates the Amosia, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, fair lady. I think Thancred wants to sleep with my character. Quest accepted. Alright. Ready to begin, aren't we? That's the spirit. So, then your mission to investigate a crystal robbery and a spate of abductions. Crimes which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like that the, any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack on the caravan, our friends in Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern have doubled security over all shipments. In, the, in light of this, it is my judgment that the abductions should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name of Is Isenbard serves the camp's de facto leader. Pray uh, pay him a visit and see that he gives us his full cooperation. Would I say that uh, Thancred invokes an animalistic lust in me? Not really, no. I mean, Thancred's an interesting character, but I, I don't think so. Speak with Isenbach. So we gotta make our way to Camp Dry Bones now. Fairly certain that Camp Dry Bone is over in Eastern Thanalan. So we're gonna teleport over to Fry's and this save us some time here. Hey anyway, Jeremy, how you doing? Welcome! As you see, we just met with uh, the waking, uh, or the signs of the seventh dawn and the waking sands. And now we're heading out into the foggy desert. character with her stupid looking armor. Okay. Oh, that 
Alright, we cross this bridge. This is gonna be quite the the run. It's it's not that far, but we we gotta go through a zone that we've never been to before. Uh, so we'll be stopping in town to pick up a, an interrate charge along the way. How about the avatars of the eighth afternoon? They're probably better than the signs of the seventh dawn. I mean, they're avatars and they're in the eighth. Instead of the seventh, right? Unless it, the uh, order of importance uh, is descending and not ascending. So, like, eighth's worse than seven. Hey, we got the achievement for mapping the realm, Central Thaland. So, this is Central Thaland. Uh, can't really see very much here, but there is a giant uh, minecart track up there. I remember one of the quests for uh, Pugilist takes place in this area. Like right around where those hammer beaks are. When uh, there was a Dragon Quest uh, crossover event in the game, you had to fight a golem down there where all those spriggans are. That's also the runes, uh, or a set of runes that is actually something I need to do in game. Uh, I'm a main character. Joined a pit, apparently. Fine. Like I said this is a fairly large area, but that's what I'm heading to right there. It's good that you can still see that through the fog. Jamie, which area of Thanalan is your favorite? This man walked over to watch me uh, attune to the Aetherite. Right? The part when you're done with Thanalan, but you're never done with Thanalan. There'll always be reason to come back here. Oh, uh, this quest up here, uh, Forging the Spirit. I'm pretty certain we're going to want to do that at some point. Uh, it's not important right now. Uh, but I'm fairly certain that one there is for uh, applying materia to your gear. Uh, gear. Or at least leads to it. Central Thanalan's got all these antlings. Eastern Thanalan feels like it's constantly full of fates, which is a blessing if you're doing things that require fates. Hey, look, it's Sun G. And Cinnamon X. Toxic job. Or bun, sun bat. Still foggy here, though, unfortunately. Can't really show it off. For a desert, there's an awful lot of trees and grass, though. West of Thailand has the waking sands. All right, here is Eastern Thailand. Eastern Thailand does have that though. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. This weird crystal setup. Get out of the way, bushes. here to this settlement if you can't see that blue glow there I'm sure if you can you know what that is I bet to do either uh, Thancred or Minfilia uh, probably Minfilia Thancred just he just wouldn't appreciate you for your efforts
All right, here we are. Eastern Thailand's Camp Dry Bones. We've arrived. Oi, I'm missing bad. Here to search for the missing folk, I take it. Manfilia sent word that an adventurer fitting your description would be along. She also warned us to be wary of the Amalja. It seems we know who the culprits are, at the very least. Now, I bear no official title at this camp, but the people here have come to take a look to me for leadership. You have my word that I'll do all I can to help the victims around here safely return. Lisa Butter of Camp Drybun is seeking help to solve a mystery of missing persons. Let us get right to it then. Minfilia names the Amalja culprits in all this. You would do well to investigate them first. Much harm has been levied on these lands by the Amalja hands. The flames burn where they might, but their light cannot stay in the darkness in all places at all times. There have been brutal murders of callers of, at the Church of St. Adama, or Adama Landama. Innocents wishing no more than to pay their respects to the dead. The poor souls deserve a proper burial. I would see to the deed before Mongols catch their scent, but I know not if the Amalja still linger. Would you secure the remnants for me, friend? You will find them on the eastern road. Well willing, you will may even come to learn something of what the Amalja seek in this area. Okay. I'm gonna go up here and hit the uh, Choco Keep if I can. I don't actually know if I can reach it from here. I think I can. Yeah. Hey guys, should I join me for a boss fight? I'll join you. There we go. So, we are investigating uh, some crystal thefts and some missing people. And it is believed that they are both tied to the same crime. And they believe it was done by a group called the Amalja. Now, we haven't met the Amalja yet. But rest assured... There's a good chance we will. I like the music in Bandland though. It's pretty nice. So that's what we're looking for over here. Ripe corpses. Great. Here's the Amalja. I just one shot that dude. I'm strong enough that I can just carry these three people. As I mentioned before, you can uh, jump from high heights without dying in this game as long as you are not in combat. If you are in combat, well that causes a problem. Depending on the height, of course. And it's good to see you returned. Were you able to secure the remains for, of our fallen? So for this poor soul appears to have been ravaged by an emulsion before sitting to setting sitting to rot for several turns of the sun. Oh, the body is given back to proper to the earth. The souls will find their way across to the other side. You've done a noble deed this day. I thank you. Or if you're you in that one tower. Now then, what of the emulsia? Did you see any? Surely that mass of monstrosities as they cannot conceal their presence, much less take their quarry unawares. Ah, so there were Amalja remaining, after all. I feared as much. Their part in the lowborn disappearing is all but confirmed, but I sense there is more to this than meets the eye. The occasional Amalja raiding party would not account for people going missing in these kinds of numbers. The total is too great, and the questions too many. It would not surprise me in the least to learn of another hand in this. But whose? Countless travelers pass through Drybone every day, and even if it were one of them, how would we best discover who may be implicit in these vanishings? Well, we will find out in just a moment, guys, as I need to stretch, so uh, we're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere.